I've been reflecting a lot upon whether it is possible to embrace death and to be happy knowing that I'm going to die and that my loved ones will die. We are terrified of death to the point that we deny it throughout most of our lives. We think we have unlimited amounts of time. And we squander it. And then one day we realize that our lives are coming to an end, that there is very little we can do about them. And then we start thinking about meaning, purpose. What can we do with whatever time we have left? Most of us will die in hospitals. Most of us will die suffering unnecessarily. And most of us will die full of regrets. So I'm trying to fill the gap between what is needed and what we offer as a health system. I was inspired by, by my father and by my grandfather. They were amazing physicians. In fact, I think they were more than physicians. They were healers. My dad was called the saint by his patients. He was available seven days a week, 24 hours a day. People would come home and knock the door and say, is the doctor in? And if he was in, he would see anybody at any time. If a patient came in the middle of the night and he had to examine him or her, I would give up my bed and I would be his assistant. And I could see him, you see, connecting with his patients in incredibly beautiful ways. So I was very inspired by this. They were my superheroes. And as I grew and I was becoming a physician, I witnessed how my grandfather aged and how my superhero was vulnerable and how he started to decay and to suffer. And now I realize that I never asked him what made him the happiest, what was his main source of joy uh, or what he regretted the most. Instead, I was spending most of my time trying to cure him when he was living with chronic diseases. And I missed it. I missed it all. The lesson I learned from that time when I hurt one of the people that I loved the most because of my misguided efforts to keep him alive and to cure the incurable and to control the uncontrollable and to avoid the inevitable is driving me now to make sure I don't do it to my patients. Most of the health problems we are facing now are chronic. And by definition, a chronic disease is incurable. And we need to manage them. We need to be able to adapt and to cope with them. And we cannot live in a hospital. In fact, hospitals are not designed to deal with chronic diseases. So we have to do it in our normal lives, mostly at home with our loved ones. So we need to reimagine how we live. When my dad died, there were probably 3,000 of his patients at the funeral. And they said something that still haunts me. They said, if you could be one fraction of the doctor your dad was, you should feel blessed. So now I'm trying to be a healer and to hug more and to listen more, and to love more, and to encourage more. How would we live our lives if we were fully aware that we are mortal? What if we realized that we're going to die sooner than we think? What if we accepted? I feel that we would be liberated liberated to concentrate on what is meaningful to us, free to focus on what makes us truly happy, free to love each other more, free to get rid of our regrets, free to connect with each other and make sure that together we can have the longest, happiest possible lives.